Today I am going to be going through my 2015 favorites as well as a little haul from what my family brought me here. So yeah, here we go. Now most of this is stuff my family brought me and some other little things too. So you guys know I love mac and cheese. This, this, see, see? This is my favorite brand of mac and cheese. It is Annie's Homegrown Shells and Real Aged Cheddar Macaroni and Cheese. Now this stuff is life changing. So much flavor in it. Amazing cheese, of course, of course. And it's healthy. Like you can you, you can't go wrong. It's amazing. I love macaroni and cheese. I love it. My family brought these. These were part of my Christmas gifts because you can't get Reese's over here. That's n it's not a thing. And yes, people can gladly correct me that I'm saying it wrong, but that's just how I say it. Reese's, not Reese's. My family got me two regular ones and then a dark. And I'm gonna have to ration. And my mom knows that I love Little Debbie Cakes. And I'm so excited. I had one of these today. That's all I've had so far. Because there's only five. So I have to ration these as well. But seriously, Little Debbie Cakes, like the hearts, the Christmas trees, they're all amazing. Like, if you ever haven't had them, you're missing out. And then last but not least at all is my little Santa peanut butter that my secret Santa Abby made me. Peanut butter in general, my family got me one about this size, a little bigger than this size, and then a slightly smaller one of the Peter Pan peanut butter, which is what I eat at home. And I'm not sure of this brand, but There's, there's a good amount left. I mean like three-fourths maybe, maybe a little less. I love peanut butter and it's so expensive over here. So you best know that I asked for that for Secret Santa. Before I came here over the summer, I went to an aquarium in Florida and I was looking for these already. They're just little like agate tile coasters. They're so pretty. I'll just kind of go through all of them. Hopefully the camera is focusing on them because they're gorgeous. But yeah, I just use these right now. Like, I just use them as decoration. They can be used as coasters and they are gorgeous. They were just a dollar each. Um, I think I started out with eight and I broke one while I was here on accident. But I still have seven. I ain't complaining. They're beautiful. And then this book that I mentioned in my last video with talking about my New Year's resolutions, the Area X trilogy, because it's just, it's a beautiful book and I will want to finish reading it. So excited. Oh, and I'm gonna do this little notebook. It's had a little damage done to it. It's a little pink on top, but this little notebook I use for all my notes and drawings, quick sketches, stuff like that. I got it at a little shop in maybe a San Gimignano or Siena, one of those, um, on my birthday. And I've used it this whole semester. It's gone through a lot. There's like banana that got on it um, and Kool-Aid and stuff like that. Uh, yogurt maybe. It's awesome, it's really handy and I love the print on it. I love the body shop and I love their body butter. Obviously this is the coconut one and it smells like you're on the beach and you're putting like the banana boat like sunscreen on, you're getting ready to go into the water and oh my gosh this stuff is like so thick and so like like moisturizing and I love it especially in the winter because your skin gets dry in the winter and this stuff makes you smell like you're in the summer. Like, who doesn't love summer? Because I love summer. So this is what I use to like clean my face. It is the Clinique 
clarifying lotion. The second one, because there's like a set of like four things that they tell you to do in order. This is the second line of those for combination skin, which is what I have mostly. Um, basically, I just put this on a cotton pad. I like swish around there two times, and yeah, it cleans my face and it evens out my skin. This is my second bottle. The first one I got for Christmas like two years ago. This thing lasts forever. So I picked this up here because I ran out like in the first month I got here. Then on to this Origins Clear Improvements Charcoal Face Mask. A lot of people talk about this. Um, I've had this for about two years now. I bought it with like a gift card from Christmas one year. I really wanted a charcoal mask and I was looking up which ones would be good. And this thing is awesome. It's awesome, awesome, awesome. I don't use it that often. It's more of like an indulgent thing. Like when I'm just feeling like I need to sit down and do a face mask and feel better about myself. <laughs> I do this one because this is not cheap. So just a heads up, but it is worth it. It is very nice. On to the last one. This is just plain tea tree oil. Now this stuff, is awesome because you can put it directly onto your face with a cotton pad and it will like dry out any acne that you have and get rid of it and it helps to balance the oils on your faces as well and then just as a precautionary method you can put a few drops of this in your shampoo and it will keep the lice away so yeah that's a good little thing. Um, I've had this one for like a year. And I mean, I'm like, I'm like a little less than halfway through it. So yeah, I used it for a lot of things, but it's still going strong. This is just a phone case. It's not on my phone currently, but it's a phone case from a Pointless Blog the YouTube channel and it just says remind yourself that you don't have to do what everyone else is doing and I think that is an awesome reminder you do not have to go with the flow you do not have to do what everyone else is doing period point blank and as soon as I saw that he made that phone case which was like way earlier this year I knew I needed it so I got it so this was like, not really Christmas, it was more of like my family haul. I needed new black boots, just little black booties um, in general because the ones that I had were literally dead. So my mom got these from Kohl's for pretty inexpensive. They are chaps and if you look, they have zippers on both sides so you can get in from either side and they're really nice. Right now I just have my custom insoles in them because that's how they are the comfiest for me but they are so cute and the other ones I had were a little more of a rounded toe but this is more of a pointed toe and I like it. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. Before I came here I picked up white high top converse because I knew I wanted a pair really badly and I'm really glad that I did. I wear them all the time. It's my main go-to shoe besides black boots and yeah they're actually really popular in Italy as well. Like a lot of people wear converse so I'm happy I picked this up and they're my babies and I need to clean them but that's besides the point because I just love them so much. It doesn't, it doesn't really matter what they actually look like, right? Right, onto another favorite, this necklace itself. Um, I've worn a lot this past year, and it's just like a little cheetah, jaguar type thing with like some Aztec symbols and like a little crystal on the bottom, and it just it goes with everything. Yeah, it's a perfect accent for almost any outfit. On to the next. This is more of a family haul type thing. My mom. Ooh, Ow, thanks bag. My mom bought me this bag um, that matches all my luggage that I got to come here, which I love. And it's going to be my airplane bag on the way back to 
move to the States when I finish this semester, this next semester. Um, has tons and tons of room and pockets. My laptop and everything will be going in there. That's going to be great to have. I'm glad she snagged that for me. Okay, next is this cost dress, which you guys have seen multiple times. It's just this like really like stretchy knit material. It's very big and loose and flowy and oversized and it's got pockets and it's just like the comfiest thing in the world and I love to layer it. Yeah, it is amazing and I love the color. This was my fall into winter like transition color. Um, I'm not sure how well I can wear it with my pink hair now, but we'll see because I still love this color and I have lots of things of the color, this color now, as you're going to see next. I'm just going to leave it on the hanger because I'm too lazy and this thing sheds everywhere. Um, is this blanket scarf. It is literally the coziest thing in the world. I wore this on New Year's Eve um, because in Italy, you can't see but there's red, um, in Italy it is a tradition for Italians on New Year's Eve to wear red because it is their lucky color. And so yeah, you have to wear something red so you have luck in the new year. And so I wore this. This thing literally like folds out to a blanket, like full on blanket. It is amazing. Um, it's from the store that I used to work at called The Limited. And yeah, it's so nice and I'm obsessed with it. And it would go perfectly with that dress that I just showed you. I realized that as soon as I was getting all this stuff out. Yes. Next is this Zara, Zara skirt. Um, it's like faux leather. It's kind of like a dark burgundy. Um, and it's like an A-line. It has pockets, which is, yes, always have pockets. Just a little zipper down the back and some darts. And it is so cute on. You can literally wear this like with everything. Like that scarf too, honestly. Next, and I think, oh, <laughs> I'm wearing the last one, so. The next one is a pair of jeans. They're a dark wash, um, kind of like a boyfriendy fit. And I got these actually as hand-me-downs, but honestly, I would love to have another pair. They are James Jeans, that is the brand. And these are the Twiggy Cut, and they're size 28. But yeah, these jeans are so comfy. I'm really into the boyfriend fit of jeans right now. Great. They're great jeans. And last but not least, because I wouldn't be wearing them if they weren't amazing, my mom picked me up some slippers for my apartment. They're so cute. Look, they have like Aztec print all on the sides. And they're freaking awesome. Um, they are like walking on clouds. Which is why I'm going to put them right back on. And with my floor being terracotta, because I'm pretty sure that this used to be part of an outdoor space and not an indoor space, it's really hard to actually keep the floor clean no matter what you do. I sweep, I dry mop, I, my mom also brought me a Swiffer. That's, that's a favorite. Yeah, with doing all that, my feet will still get like black and there'll still be stuff all over my socks and everything. And so I have these bomb slippers to wear around my apartment now and I'm so excited about it. And my very last but not least at all favorite was making this YouTube channel. Honestly, I've had three or four YouTube channels in the past, but this one I love so much because I'm sticking to it, I'm doing what I love, I am <laughs> traveling. I get to have travel vlogs, like that is freaking awesome, honestly. And yeah, seriously, all I want to do is just continue to grow this channel over the next year and it is my favorite thing to do is to make videos. It's like an escape from schoolwork and everything else that's going on in my life. I just get to sit down and talk to you guys, which is so fun. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed my 2015 favorite slash family haul. Thank you family for bringing this up. I love you so much and I miss you so much. I am going to end this now. Thanks for watching.